Let's get into it. One, two, three. Alright, alright. Welcome to my Whiskey Den, your favorite public access whiskey review show where craft whiskey is king. And we are once again this evening, I think just to be honest, we're going to be, this is number four for the evening as we're getting, as we're going through. Hey, some people do eight or ten. Four is not that bad for the evening. So thank you for tuning in. We appreciate it. Before we go any further, what do we have to say that we tell our lovely viewers at this time? Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that bell notification, find out when new episodes are coming out, join us on Monday nights, our usually a live episode, and usually in our evening with series. Yeah, usually. That, that's, that's the best way to put that. Every now and then we do something else fun, but typically we're talking to a distiller or someone yeah. in the industry about their job and, and what's going on, just to bring you a little bit closer to some people in the craft world. Yeah. Now, and sometimes audibles happen. Oh, yes, they do. So, sometimes moments before a stream happens. <laughs> Today, we are talking about high wire distillings, new southern revival rye coming in at 45%. Now, uh, we'll let Ben talk about this in a second, um, a little bit of info, but we have talked about these guys before. Uh, we did review their Jimmy Red, 100% uh, Jimmy Red. Mm -hmm. So, check the review up over there. It is definitely worth looking into. These guys are doing some incredible stuff with some of their grain. Do you know a little bit more about this, Ben? Uh, I can tell you just, uh, you know, again, check out the video, get the background on high wire distilling. Uh, it's a husband and wife team, Scott Blackwell and Marshall. He's got a background in baking, so very experienced in grains. And I think they're most famously known for their Jimmy uh, red corn bourbon that they do. Um, this one is an Abruzzi rye. Uh, oh. Coming in forty five percent, and uh, you know they're again they're here in my state of South Carolina, down in Charleston. So that's about it. Yeah, we okay. we hopped into them pretty in depth before. Um, yeah. They're they're saving grains from extinction and stuff, but that type of excitement when you're yeah. when they're with what they're doing, and they just moved to a new facility. So stop over there and mm -hmm. check them out whenever you get a chance. Um, now with Jimmy Red, it was extremely oily. And I'm going to say the same thing here. It is not as bad as one of the other ones, but it sticks up there, and you get a lot of legs running down down this one. It's hard to see there. but It smells oily and thick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like just looking at it. Okay. And it, you pointed out earlier, Patrick, before we started recording, it's got a funky color to it. Like the outer, the outer yeah. rim has a golden almost apple juice, and then you get these tinges of copper. Yeah. Going through it. it it's it's really it, that alone is an, i don't normally look at whiskey per se for very long but this is one to look at it it's like you said like there's an apple cider and then there's for me there's almost like a copper but it's like and on a red like a like a mm -hmm. red wine little hue to it as well too it's got a really neat color to this yeah um yeah i don't normally get stuck looking at it i like drinking it but this is something worth looking at okay Okay. So it it is. So when we initially poured this, and it, and it was just an intense nose initially. Well, now that it's had time to air out, it's not as mm -hmm. much like it. It was. It had just this blast of of just taffy, or like a, you know, old fashioned candy shop. Just the yeah. sweetness coming off of it. But it has tamed down quite a bit. And it, and I'm sorry to say this, but the anise is coming out. Don't be sorry. This this one is, is is not been abrasive to me. I know you guys are bracing me, but it, it this so far has not it has not been scary. Like it is in there. I might say for me, it's a prominent note, but it it kind of it it kind of fades away. It's almost on the front half and on the back. By the time it gets to the back half of the nose, it's gone for me. I get a bit of a toffee and a little bit of a dried apricot going on. And there's a little bit of honey apricot. and black tea as well that you yeah. typically get in a rye. 
I get that, and I get that the tip of the like I normally get. I get a little grassiness and some lemon off of there, but mm -hmm. yeah, I get that. Yeah, the tea and apricot off a of rye. I'm agreeing with what you guys got. When you mentioned the toffee, I'm getting just a hint of chocolate as well too. I was think think like Butterfinger is what I was. There, just like a mixed in there as well too with what you guys are saying. The lemon, some of the other stuff. My toffee had like a little bit of chocolate, so it was like a titch of like a Butterfinger note for a second. I could see the Butterfinger mm. note. Yeah, I get the chocolate. It's like a, it's more of a, and it's it's more of a milk chocolate type note, not a dark mm -hmm. chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little toasted graham cracker in there too. Okay, so yeah, you said that, and that, as as you were saying that, what I was thinking is if you if you like substituted and threw up some Butterfinger bits into a s'more. Mm. Okay. Okay. A little bit of a yeah, toasted like, marshmallow like, note, like a s'more, yeah. bl like a s'more blizzard. Of, of yeah with, with toffee <laughs> okay that actually sounds really good <laughs> but my daughter makes s'moreos which you can have one and then you're done but a, a s'more finger or finger s'more <laughs> finger s'more spirit finger s'more spirit finger s'more we get into a diabetes kind of sweetness there guys your diabetes <laughs> Is it just like watching for diabetes, or is it to the level where you've already got it? You got diabetes. Wilford Brimley's going to kick your ass. <laughs> yeah. He's he's not in the wheelchair yet. <laughs> in the wheelchair? Okay. 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 All right. I'm, I'm going to go in on this. I don't think you're going to get that diabetes on the palate there, guys. Not quite. Mm. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> just watching Patrick's face. <laughs> it's not fair to them because I like the stuff, but I sifted in it. Oof. Then it was, that was on the front end of it. Give me a second here. I get zero anise. I seriously do. Mike has the COVID. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I just have no taste. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to let you guys go with it because I am, like some of the other stuff that we were talking about, I am getting in here, but more as like secondary notes. Some of that, that anise Lubach licorice is heavier for me on the front of it. By what I was getting graham cracker, I am getting vanilla right now. Mm -hmm. I'm almost getting, I'm getting a mint on the finish of this that's kind of sticking around as I talk. Like as I talk, it's, like the mint is heating up coming off my tongue and out. Um, so I'm getting some other stuff, but I want to wait to hear what you guys say. Yeah, the uh, the anise is there for me, but it, it's kind of covered up a little bit. Um, and the flavors, it's interesting the way this hits your palate because a lot of whiskeys, you know, sometimes they're really concentrated. They're really dense over the tongue or the mid part of the palate. This is like broad. It's like it spreads out. All the flavors really yeah. spread out through my mouth. Um I'm getting a juicy peach in there in the mid part of it. Uh, I get that mint, and that mint to me is like rolled up with some anise. Um, and I've, I'm getting some black tea and honey, or like almost a sweet tea and honey note to it. Uh, that graham cracker is in there. Uh, there's that toffee and caramel kind of a more on the front end for me. Uh, I, I, I like it, man. It's just, it's just a really neat, enjoyable rye. So I finished my first glass. And I nosed the glass and I poured a little bit more in there and then nosed it again. And I just get this whiff of just that nose you get from really good craft whiskey. Mm -hmm. And I, I hate to say that because it just sounds like it, it's it sounds like a really dumb blanket statement. But, you know, where you just get that <laughs> that grain forward, uh, but but a nice grain forward nose out of it. Yeah. And and going back in on it. I mean, I'm seriously getting zero anise on this for rye. And uh, the notes you mentioned on the palate, those are, those are, those are good. But man, the second trip going on the nose is crazy because it's completely different. There's some ginger and cardamom coming along in there too. And okay. I would agree. I like this. It's, it's to me, I, this strikes a nice balance between mash and barrel. 
you get a little bit of the barrel note in there, but man, the mash is right there. The grain, the rye grain is there, and it's um. That's what I was getting. Was funny when you were talking about the grain forward. I was at the moment you just spoke about grain, and I was getting that before. Was when I was starting to appreciate the barrel on the back end of it. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, I was like, that's exactly right. But right now, the barrel is starting to, you know, like snuggle its way up in there at the tail end and let you know that it's there. And it's, it's not super drying on the tongue like a wine, but it is more on the outsides for me. Like the outsides of my tongue feel dry. It just, yeah, it's. Hmm. That mint note is, the more I sip it, the more that mint is starting. Before it was hitting on the back end, now it's starting almost up front. It's like it's yeah. uh, try, almost like worming its way through all the flavors. There's that this this undercurrent of mint, spearmint that carries through. And it's I'd just, almost it's say at really this good. moment, it's replacing some of like the anise note for mm -hmm. me. Like I'm not getting that as much. I'm getting more of the, the swirling kind of caramel as it's coming on. But that is like the more I'm swirling it now in my tongue, like giving it a little swish around. Yeah. Like the spearmint heat seems like it's picking up now with like each time yeah. I'm doing it, where before it was just coming at the end. And hmm. before I forget, I want to throw in, uh, we do have a benefactor for this one as well. Eli mm. Cook sent this one to us. Mm. Cheers, Eli. Yeah. Cheers. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It is interesting. Wow. I think it was back and forth. But going back in and back in and back in on this. And in this, I'm gonna kill the sample trying to figure this one out. It is it's if you give it to me blind, I, I would and okay, again, we've done a couple of different tastings tonight. <laughs> however, <laughs> however, there are certain things stereotypical of a rye that you would expect. I have cleansed my palate as much as I can, etc. I do not get the the a lot of anise off of this. I get I get a lot of the grain off of it more than anything else. Um, yeah. But it is uh, it is getting more and more unique the more I have of it. Yeah, I'm getting. You know, we talked. You talked about that kind of s'mores note that. Yeah. Uh, marshmallow and chocolate and uh, graham cracker. I'm getting that on the front end right now. The last sip I took, it was, I felt like I just bit into a s'mores kind of, especially the marshmallow note was really strong there. But um, I, I get uh, more marshmallow as I go. And, and it's more yeah. of a, it's maybe not as much of the marshmallow flavor as, as it is the, the, the sensory that you get from eating the marshmallow where you're like, oh, I'm now taking over my taste buds for a little bit, <laughs> you know. And nothing's cutting yeah. through it. It's just there's a like a, a thickness, a thickness to it, if that makes any sense. But yeah. this is uh, like marshmallow fluff is what I'm imagining when you're saying that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. It's I I'm I'm liking this a lot. I mean, high yeah. high wire's been three for three on me on stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty I'm surprised. I'm, I'm surprised, in spite of like everyone uh, in thinking that I was bracing myself. <laughs> For it, I'm actually really enjoying this because that when you saw my face the first time, like the first drink, I had a lot of that in there. That was that was the prominent note. Coming back two or th three, four, whatever's left here, twelve. <laughs> well, tw little sip, little sippy poo. Yes, I have another little sippy poo. Um, I'm still getting that in the first third to half but half about halfway through it really starts to fade away and other things become more of the dominant note yeah now maybe a mid-level note nothing high but like there's mid-levels that come up at that point so if it, it fades away early enough for me it doesn't stick around in the finish to have it be off-putting with with my sensitivity I feel like I have to premise that at the beginning of an episode, <laughs> and I have to have like one of those warnings in the bottom, in the little corner off to the left side. That's in little print about it. <laughs> no, this is it, it. This is really good. I, again, I mean, we've had a few of these rides where I think you could give it to somebody blind, and I don't think that they would necessarily pick this out as a as a a rye whiskey maybe a high rye whiskey they might pick the rye but i don't think that they would pick it up as oh man this is a rye 
Yeah, this is I, I'm loving it, and it, to me, all the yeah. all the flavors are kind of like revolving around this core of mint that's starting to kind of run through. The, to me, mint is becoming more the dominant note, and all the other things are accents that revolve around the mint. And I'm just seeing here on the bottle they noted it's it's a, a mash. They're using unmalted and malted rye hmm. in this one. So, so you you mentioned the mint, and I I I get the mint part of it, mm-hmm. but bigger than the mint flavor you know the 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 feeling you get when you get the mint where you're just like oh <laughs> I, get, mm-hmm. I get that from the rye where you're just like oh yeah huh. that feels good <laughs> if it, it feels like someone like lightly brushed the inside of your mouth <laughs> that's just a, a little personal i'm just i'm just saying that you know, like, family and there's some that could be their like, tagline high wire we get inside your mouth <laughs> <laughs> I just mean it feels like this. Like I'm exhaling mint. Like it's coming out. Like that's what I feel like is coming out of me right now as I'm exhaling. Yeah. So I mean it. It's heavily in there. So it's, this is nice. This is yeah. really nice whiskey. I like it's it good. a lot. It's mm-hmm. another. It's another oh, one that's Lord. intriguing that you can sit down with. Um, yeah. Guess guesstimation on price. Are we talking 60s, 70s for this one? No, from the, no, 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 no. I think this rye runs. I want to say it runs maybe in the 30s, might get into oh, the 40s a little bit. Holy crap. Oh, wow. Um, I can wow. I can check that really quick for you. Um, I know that they had one. some new release that they're coming out with. Um, so stop at the distiller if you can because the new release was, I forgot what finish it was, but it sounded incredible. Uh, yeah, that, that, yeah, that again, that, if that's 30, 40 bucks, man, that's, mm-hmm. well, okay. So hi, I know High Wire is on some some national distribution, but not mm-hmm. all their stuff. Cause they do a lot of stuff at the distillery, but yeah. this was, was this a total wine or other local pickup? I think this, for you? Is, I think this is like a standard. Re- oh, sorry. No. Yeah. This is uh this is a standard release. I can pick it up here locally at the total wine. Uh, Eli got this at the distillery when he was visiting there last year. Um, I think he went earlier this year. Earlier, I think it went like just after they moved. I think he showed up like as they at the old place as they were moving, as they were moving, as they were moving. Wow, and they like and they hung out with them and stuff. And I'm like, that's that's sweet. But Scott and Scott and Ann seem like really decent people. So, from from what we've heard, and people have said when they were down there, it was made you made you want to stop in. So, Hmm. Wow, who would have thought another rye that I'm liking? This is just this is just turning out as a weird night. And it's throwing off my top five ryes if we're doing a top five ryes. <laughs> well, you had, you had to save some so you can go back and reevaluate. You said you just drank two ounces of the last one. And how much do you have left of this one? I, I have about a half ounce of this one and same one with the last one, just so I could go back to them. You're fibbing. <laughs> no. no All right. Mm, All right. Fair, a little fair bit. enough. Fair enough. But uh, yeah, so I, th- I think this one from Highwire is also a lovely, another another win for them. Um, and this exactly. one is pretty Highwire, pretty, pretty reasonably priced win. Um, yeah, I think you can find it in the forty. Depending on where you are, you can find should be able to find it in like the forty dollar range. That's um, phenomenal. So, I mean, for that, yeah. Th- yeah, something this good for that. From a craft distillery at that price, I think that's amazing. And this, to me, is just a testament of why you should explore craft whiskey. Because you're just going to, you know, we've sat here. This is our fourth review tonight. Every single one of these has been freaking off the charts good. Um, almost all of them are really reasonably priced. And it's just, they're just amazing. And That's what I'd say yeah, for this. It, it's the last one of the night, and it held up through the other things we had had that we all yes. really enjoyed tonight. So, which were all cast strength. Which, which were all cast strength. Yes. So, I mean, that in and of itself, I think, leaned a testament to that statement. Yeah. Uh, yes. That's, that, that was pretty impressive. So, uh, remember, it's not the size of them that matters, everyone. It's the love of whiskey. Cheers, everyone out there. Cheers. Cheers. Let's get into it. One, two, three. Let's get into it.